Hi, welcome to Lori Farm. Today we're going to show you how we make our garden compost. Libby, why don't you come over here and start that stuff? All winter long we've been building up bedding and the reason is one deep layer bedding keeps them warmer in the winter but the main reason is we use the bedding as our um, fertilizer for the field throughout the season. So all their pooping and everything else they do all winter doesn't go to waste. We reuse it and spread it across all of the fields. So look at this. This bedding has been um, used all winter long for about six months. It's got tons of chicken droppings that they've spread out throughout the whole winter. So we're gonna scoop all this up and reuse it. Well, I think it's going pretty good so far. Uh, we got most of it pulled out of the inside of the barn. So now we just gotta do the uh, chicken coop and uh, I think Sarah's starting in there, but things are going pretty good out here. This is a ton of work, but it is really worth it and really rewarding because we can spread it out on the fields and in the planter garden and the ducks and chickens will go through it all again. And then we get to watch everything grow from all the hard work we put into it. We need to get this whole garden fenced in to keep the chickens out. We also need to build a ton more planter boxes so we can get planting in the next couple of weeks. Um, it's gonna get really busy and crazy around here because we've had such a long winter. We haven't had the time to get everything out here and prepped because of the amount of snow that we had. It did melt really quickly. If you could see one of our previous videos where we had a lot of flooding also hindered our ability to get going on this stuff. We do already have some garden stuff started. As you can see, our garlic chives are coming back wonderfully. And then also this really cool walking onion I got from a friend last summer. It just plants and then when it bulbs out, it just falls over and replants, and that's already coming through here really nicely. We got the meat birds um, coop all cleaned up and ready to go for the new baby chicks. We just got to fill the nesting boxes with fresh straw. They were pretty messy. And then put down fresh bedding for them. But it's coming along nicely. We got a lot more field work to do before we get planting for the season. But right now Shane's going to go out and spread out the fertilizer. We're going to put down the pine chips. That we let this dry out a day or two. And we get our pine chips at either, you can get them at Tractor Supply, but we get ours at Marty's usually, which is a local feed store. I really like doing the local feed store. They're usually cheaper and quite honestly they have really good customer service. So I really like going to Marty's to get ours normally. But anyways. So we're gonna just spread this out. Pretzel's gonna help me today. And spreading out the pine chips makes for um, good bedding and then it also really makes the barn smell so much nicer. We'll just keep adding pine chips throughout the season, summer and fall, so it gets deeper and ready for winter so you get that nice deep bedding. So we'll just add a couple of bags here and there. Hey, I just wanted to take a moment here and tell you guys about an opportunity that Sarah and I had recently. We were interviewed by her aunt and uncle who have a really cool YouTube channel called Finance and Liberty. They interview all sorts of people uh, over the past decade uh, dealing with um, money and finance and um, the Federal Reserve and all sorts of really cool things like that. Also, I just want to mention that they're also gold and silver brokers. So if that's something of interest to you, you can head over to their YouTube channel and check that out for yourself. I'll put the link in the description below. Thanks for watching today. Thanks for watching how we make garden compost and you should check out this video right here. Come on, that's the thing down to help. Come on, good job, good job. There you go, there's the tree. Okay, I'll go get the ball. No, go get the ball, go get the ball.
See him swim this fast about the trees. Come on! Good girl! <laughs>